Hello everyone, so if you watched my previous video, you know that nostalgia really hit me hard today and I've decided to uh, play some retro games uh, online Now just keep in mind that I love retro games, uh, but most of the time I play modern games but from time to time I just enjoy uh, going online and searching for some uh, retro games to play and those that I actually play when I was a child Now one of my favorite games was Gianna Sisters uh, and one of the reasons it was so influential is because of its amazing soundtrack. Now I call the game Gianna Sister, but the full name of the game is The Great Gianna Sisters. Although there is an Android version uh, of the game, a new one, called Gianna Sisters, which I'm going to share with you uh, in a moment. So what you see here is actually footage from the original, uh, this one I think from the Commodore 64, uh, but I run it on a uh, website that emulates different retro games, so what you see here is actually from a website. Still, I'm actually the one playing the game. So let's hear some a bit of the soundtrack and some gameplay. One of the things that I enjoy in retro games is, uh, you know, because I don't have many pictures and videos of me as a child to remember, but the things that I remember visually is video games when I play video games. So when I see video games, uh, I can actually just be there in the same place at the same time when I play it, and it brings up so many great memories of my childhood. This is really proof how important the music is in the game. I mean, if I can remember this so many years after, this just shows how important music is for games. Of course, there are many games that I don't remember the soundtrack, but this one is the most memorable one for me. I think because it was so joyful. Now, of course, there are many games who are making comeback. Uh, I've seen quite a lot from indie developers, but of course, there are AAA companies being up uh, very popular games. For example, Doom is a very good example. Doom Eternal was released in 2020, and it's actually originated from, uh, by ID Software. It was developed by ID Software in 1993, December 10, 1993. Now, today I was a bit adventurous, and I've decided to search other versions of Gianna Sister. I played one, by the way, on the PS4, and it wasn't good, and I think the soundtrack wasn't the original, and this is the reason I didn't enjoy it, because I didn't remember the soundtrack, and when I played the retro one, I immediately remembered the soundtrack. Uh, so this is uh, Gianna Sister uh, version for Android developed by Kaasa Games uh, and it also has uh, the um, 32 rate low level games and including 80 new completely new levels uh, reimagining it in uh, HD and it just looks beautiful and it's also available in different language and uh, it has the legendary soundtrack uh, inspired by Chris uh, Yulbeck so immediately when I played it and heard the music, I was in the game, and it just sounded beautiful. Uh, and you can actually get the game uh, right now uh, on Google Play. Again, it's called Gianna Sisters by Kaasa Game, K-A-A-S-A -A -A Games. Just keep in mind that the sound is not good because it's recorded from my phone, it just recorded the speaker's sound, so that's why here it of course is going to be much better when you play it on your phone. Now the gameplay itself is fun, the platforming is fun and challenging, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, but again, the music for me was, you know, all beautiful nostalgia and memories, and I really, I was really excited to see, uh, to he first read that it also includes uh, the original soundtrack, or inspired by it, but again for me it just sounds the same, maybe there are slight changes. Uh, but for me, just, you know, back to childhood, playing this game, just a modern device on my Android phone. Now what you see here was actually the um, retro levels, and now I'm going to show you how it looks uh, with uh, HD graphics. So this is one of the levels, uh, which with HD graphics, and of course the resolution is higher, uh, the colors look better, and overall, you know, the level looks uh, more impressive, but again, it still stays lo loyal, to the retro, uh, you know, visuals, the other action of the original game, especially when it comes to the character. And no, this is not Celeste, uh, brother or sister or whatever, <laughs> just an old. 
So even if you ever played the game, uh, if you want to play the original, just search it online. There are many websites uh, that actually uh, uh, put a version. I think it's not even a flash version. It's a, you know, um, probably an emulation script that runs and runs the game, and you can play it, uh, the game, or you can actually download uh, the Android version. Uh, I'm going to link to it in the description of this video, so you can check it out. So again, for me, it was the music. Uh, I like the game, by the way, and the characters as well. Uh, but the music was very influential for me, and it just kept in my was kept in my head all this time. And I wanted to just share this moment with you. Now, from time to time, I'm going to share some, you know, um, videos of games that I enjoyed playing back then. And I think it's going to be exciting for those of you. Uh, you know just playing modern games and didn't spend time digging out you know into learning what actually was the great games uh, you know on the of the 80s and 90s so again what I'm gonna do is just gonna title it retro games so when I tell retro games you're gonna know that I'm gonna speak about uh, uh, another cool retro game that I really enjoy playing uh, and just let you know about it and that's it so I hope you enjoyed this one if you like this type of videos don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to get notified when I release new videos and more things coming. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe. Cheers.